Hey guys, sometimes we rush, you know, let's not rush and because we have a lot of things to work on. And today I want to work with SendGrid and with the APIs. So first of all, go to SendGrid, create your account there and other all the things I'm going to give it to you from uh, the projects we have over here and one of the projects we're going to use. Uh, where do we use some a some APIs for for this one? Okay, let's take this project. I'm gonna. Oops, uh, I cannot stop recording. I can only stop recording, right? So I don't want to stop it. So I'm gonna go to here and over here. We have the API that we are going to use. Uh, hmm, I closed my project my main project uh, that's what I don't want to do so sign in I'm just gonna co copy paste because this is the easiest thing to do and you can do the same so our new course app and we go to our APIs so if you're on a free version you have two APIs to work on uh, here what you're gonna do we're gonna make email notifications whenever you when you, whenever you need them so let's add api call make a api call keep it as get api call so here we're gonna write uh send email uh, okay here we have the send email i'm gonna copy my header uh, I'm gonna add here, I'm gonna paste it here and I'm gonna copy my post method and I'm gonna add my post method here, okay? So you have your own authorization bureau code, this one, I'm gonna change it, no worries. Uh, so you will not be able to use mine. So then we go to body, go to body and you have this destination email and passcode, of course, it's in variables where you need to add them. So we'll go to variables. We're gonna add destination email. It's gonna be string. And we're gonna add passcode email. Ah, passcode, I mean like whatever you want to add there, seriously. Uh, like, or you can add like email, email text. Let's say like this. Go to hit, go to body choose JSON body and just copy that one. I'm going to add it right into here. I'm going to also add it into your uh, course. So no worries. So here we have this nation mail and uh, please verify your account. And here I'm going to add email text and this one I can delete. Or you can also write here, this is your email email text, like this, and that'll be your email text. From your email, depends what you did over here when you created your account in SendGrid, and name, I choose this one. So then uh, we have other things so format it add a call and then response and test let's test it i'm gonna send it to myself email.com and just write some random things and test api call okay so success let's go to my gmail and go here looks safe this is your email text done here dine up no reply everything's cool we are happy right you're happy we are happy this is how easy to do api post calls uh, please just copy everything what i've done here right this one you can find it in sendgrid and if you go to sendgrid i'm going to click on sign in because i do have account already Successful account. 
and you can find it on the factor on. I think this is SMS code. Yep, this is SMS code. Uh, oops, it's two six eight six. So inside your send grid, you will fill up all the information, everything. Uh, like seriously, don't worry, guys. I think we will need to go to email API integration guide. Uh, choose like web API. Uh, choose anything. Like seriously, anything you can choose from here and here my new api and create your key so here you have the key that's it that's how easy it is to create it verify verify integration view email activity and the rest is going gonna go is going to be well so no worries about it here yeah? uh what else we can do with the APIs, this the one of the APIs that you will need, and other APIs they all work the same. So it all depends on the JSON body you have. You copy it, you see what they have. Like they have email, they have subject. I can easily, like for example, add into my variables like subject. I'm gonna s oh not not into this account, but into this account. Yeah, I'm going to add like subject string save go to body and going to add subject here. Delete it and save it. Okay. Now, for example, let's go to our detail page, place a bit, add an action uh, add action, right? Find API call, send email, and choose your destination email, your email text, and your subject. In destination mail, you can choose, for example, let's send it to ourselves, right? Um, where is that? My email, email text gonna be like new bit is set. Uh, a new bit okay let's go to value let's combine text new bit is and ooh, where is that where is that action output final bit amount i guess okay and subject new bit is set for testing, I will just remove this one and gonna write just 26h my email, okay? And so if it's success, uh, no need to do anything, like just make it like. But we can say like for example, if it's success, let's say uh, snake bar show snake bar uh, new bit is set, and for the false. Uh, also search for snack bar show snack bar new bit is not set and scroll down here choose error color and here choose success color and close it now we will update install like reload our app test mode So let's create our new See we have this one now. So this is the theorems five and uh, this is the total amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is in US dollars. Next and 
think that one right is created place a bit mm, nothing happened let's check yep here there is a there is your email text uh, new bit is set is like this like this like this looks safe done guys uh, i hope you enjoyed and yeah so see you next lesson i hope i will make up some new lessons for you while i'm recording everything and please don't forget to join our community and we will help you there as well to answer your questions so bye bye